everyone! Hope you're well this Tuesday. It's my turn to teach you a song today. Why is there a football on my drum kit, you may wonder. Well, the reason there's a football there is that we're going to learn a song about famous Scottish sports people. Most of them you will not have heard of. You might not have heard of any of them because they took part in sports a long time ago. However, maybe when we're finished learning this, you could go on um, the internet and maybe research their lives a little bit more. So, we have a football. The first verse features a couple of football players. I'm just wondering what a football would sound like dropped onto a drum. Shall we find out? I am very easily amused, children. Anyway, back to the song. So, a couple of footballers in the first verse. First one is a man called Jim Baxter, who was a coal miner from a little village in Fife called Hill of Beath, which isn't very far from where I'm sitting, actually. And if you're ever in Hill of Beath, there's a life-size statue to Jim on the main street. I'm too young, believe it or not, to have seen Jim play in the 50s and 60s, but um, I was fortunate enough to meet him a few times in later life. Um, he was a very, very funny man and a fantastic football player. Some people think Scotland's greatest ever player. The other player we mentioned is Archie Gemmell, who scored arguably Scotland's greatest ever goal um, against Holland in the 1978 World Cup finals. And somebody else we mentioned, who's not a footballer in this verse, is a Glasgow boxer called Benny Lynch, who was world flyweight champion before World War II. Um, he came from nothing, a very poor area of Glasgow, and became a British, European and world champion of boxing. So what we'll do is, I'll sing the verse through once, and then we'll do line at a time, and you can repeat it after me. This is quite a slow song, quite chilled out. Jim Baxter do keep you up Archie Gemmell against the Dutch Glasgow gave us Benny Lynch A man never known to flinch Okay, easy as that. So I'll sing a line, you sing it back. Jim Baxter didn't keep you up Archie came all against the Dutch Your turn! Glasgow gave us Benny Lynch, a man never known to flinch. Over to you. Glasgow gave us Benny Lynch, a man never known to flinch. And then we'll try it all together. Jim Baxter did keep you up, Archie Gimmel against the Dutch. Glasgow gave us Benny Lynch. A man never known to flinch. And then we're going to go on to the chorus, which is all about how Scotland has achieved so much in sport, despite being such a small country. And it goes... We are we, we are small, but the Scots have won it all. We stand tall. We stand tall. But the Scots have won it all We stand tall We stand tall Want to try it along with me? We are we We are small But the Scots have won it all We stand tall We stand tall Well done. So verse 2, we move on to a couple of very famous Scottish racers. The first one we speak about is somebody called Jim Clark, who was also from Fife, a tiny little place called Kilmeny, which you pass through on the way to the Tay Bridge, if you're, if you're heading up from Glenmothis to the Tay Bridge. Um, just off the road there, a little side road, there is a, a full-size statue of Jim. Um, he was born into a farming family, and when he was a kid, 
his family moved to the Scottish borders around a town called Duns and they were sheep farmers. Jim went on to become what many people believe to be the greatest racing driver in history. Um, but despite this, in between racing all over the world, he would always return to his home and work on the farm. Um, he became Formula One world champion twice. He won the Indianapolis 500. He won the British Touring Car Championship. He won more than a third of all the Grand Prix races he entered. Uh, unfortunately, Jim was killed quite young in 1968 at a race in Germany. Um, I'm a bit of a Jim Clark fan, I'll have you know. And right behind my shoulder here, there's a paint in the gym. And above my head, there's a replica with part of one of his cars. Um, I've actually got his crash helmet here to show you this crash helmet. It's not like the fancy ones you get nowadays with the drivers. Um, it's very simple, dark blue with a white visor and this open face as I were back then. Uh, but this was probably, this is one of the most famous crash helmet designs in history. The other guy we speak about, Bob McIntyre, we've shortened that to Bob Mack to fit into the song, was a motorcycle racer from the west of Scotland. He became the first rider ever to average over 100 miles per hour at the Isle of Man TT races. Um, TT stands for Tourist Trophy, by the way. Not many people know that. Um, he achieved that in the 1950s and he was a phenomenal bike racer. And when we, we mentioned the song doing the ton, the ton is slang for 100 miles per hour. So this verse is about the famous Scottish racers. Jim Clark in his green machine The quickest farmer you've ever seen Bob Mack on the Isle of Man The first ever to break the ton We'll do the same again, I'll sing a line, you sing a line Jim Clark in his green machine The quickest farmer you've ever seen Bob Mack on the Isle of Man The first ever to do the ton And I forgot to leave a gap for you, so we'll do it again <laughs> Jim Clark in his green machine The quickest farmer you've ever seen This time the final verse. So we mentioned a couple of famous Scottish swimmers in this who, who competed a long, long time ago. We have um, Eleanor Gordon and Ellen King. So we speak of King and Gordon. They won gold medals before and after um, World War II. The other person we speak about um, was a runner called Eric Liddell. Um, he was so famous they actually made a, a film about him called Chariots of Fire. If you, um, if you search for the music for Chariots of Fire by Vangelis, you'll probably know it. It's a, it's a great piece of music. Um, Eric Liddle was famous because he was very religious and refused to run on a Sunday. Uh, he actually missed out on the chance of a gold medal at the Olympics because of this, because the race was on a Sunday. Um, so, this verse goes. There's a little stop in this, you'll hear it. 
King and Gordon in days of old, heroes both who swam to gold. Eric Liddell could fairly run every day of the week but one. If you hear the stop then. So I'll sing a line, you sing a line. King and Gordon in days of old, heroes both who swam to gold. Over to you. Eric Liddell could fairly run every day of the week but one. Eric Liddell could fairly run every day of the week but one. All together? King and Gordon in days of old, heroes both who swam to gold. Eric Liddell could fairly run every day of the week but one. On the chorus, we are we, we are small, but the Scots have won it all. We stand tall, we stand tall. We are we, we are small. But the Scots have won it all We stand tall We stand tall Then we're going to do a middle bit that goes We may not be the biggest But that doesn't matter at all We get stuck in We gear our best Beer as good as all back into the final chorus. So I'll go over that a little bit with you. Um, I'll sing a line, you sing a line as usual. We may not be the biggest, but that does not matter at all. Try that. And then, we get stuck in, we give our best, we as good as all. And then into the final chorus. Okay, so we'll try that whole section. We won't do the final chorus just now. What we'll do after that is go back to the beginning and play the whole song. So we may not be the biggest, but that doesn't matter at all. We may not be the biggest, but that doesn't matter at all. We get stuck in, we give our best, we're as good as all the rest. We are we, etc. And we just sing one chorus to the end. So let's try it for the beginning. I might put in a little bit of drums later on in the song. So back to Jim Baxter doing keep you up. Jim Baxter doing keep you up. Archie Gimmel against the Dutch. Glasgow gave us Benny Lynch. A man never known to flinch. We are we, we are small. But the Scots have won it. We stand tall, we stand tall, we are we, we are small, but the Scots have won it all, we stand tall, we stand tall. Jim Clark and his green machine. Quickest farmer you'd ever seen. Bob Mack on the Isle of Man, the first ever to break the ton. We are we, we are small, but the Scots have won it all. We stand
stand tall. We stand tall. We are we. We are small. But the Scots have won it all. We stand tall. We stand tall. Put we'll some drums in. everybody. That was quite a long song. See you next time.